Hi everyone, welcome back to my five minute iOS programming series and today I'll be showing you how to make a UI view have a shadow. I have already created our project, so now we can go to main.storyboard and create our view. We'll just let this load up a little bit. There we go. Now let's go down here and we will search for a view. We'll scroll to the bottom and there it is. Drag this in here and we will, um, I'm gonna make this about the size of a square so it just looks nice. Next we're gonna go here and we are going to make the background color a nice solid color other than white so we can actually see our view. Red is good, there we go. We'll change this later obviously. Okay now we are going to center our view and we will go to the constraint section. We'll add in top, left, bottom, and right, width and height, and we'll add those constraints. Now we can go over to our helper and we can clear up a little space. And now we will make an IB outlet for this view. Okay. Let's call it shadow view. Connect. Let's just clear up this extra space we have down here. Okay, all of our styles are gonna go in the view did load. Let's just uh, remove all these comments. There. Now, let's start with the corner radius, which is the rounding of the corners on the view. We'll type in shadow view, because that's the name of our view, dot layer, dot corner radius equals three. And let's go to the next one. Now we'll be doing the shadow. We'll say shadow view dot layer dot shadow color equals a UI color. And I already have a uh, preset hex value here. So I'll just paste it in. And then at the end we add in dot CG color. Go to the next line we'll say shadow view dot layer and this time we're gonna say dot shadow offset this is basically the offset of the shadow so to the side to the bottom we'll type in CG size and in CG size we're gonna make the width to be zero because we don't want it to be any offset on the width but on the height we want it to be down by 1.7 so we can actually see it Now we'll go to the next line. We'll type in shadow view dot layer as always. This time we're gonna type in dot shadow radius. And this is basically the blurriness. We'll type in 1.7 because we want it to be fairly blurry. Let's go to the next one. Shadow view dot layer dot. And this time we're gonna type in shadow opacity and the shadow opacity is basically the transparency will make it a little bit less than medium transparency that is all we need to do for this let's just type in a little comment here saying that this is the styles now we can change the background color back to a white or a little bit darker than white so we can still see our view but so it just looks better we can close that and now we can build our thing. We'll build it on an iPhone 7, because that is the newest type of iPhone we have. And there we go. It has completed building. Here is our view. It looks very nice. As you can see, we have the corner radius right here, and we have the really nice shadow down here everything looks perfect and there you go 